M0FXB, welcome to my channel. New firmware version 1.42 for the ICOM 7 300, and they've also updated the RSBA1 remote control software. I'll put a link in of all the changes and a description for you, and then follow my old video, which is attached to this, to install the new firmware. Next step, download the file you need from this link in the description. Scroll to the bottom, tick your box here, download, and it will just put it there in your downloads, and it looks like this. Okay, tiny little data file. And then if you look here on the left hand side and you've got your SD card plugged into your PC, uh, just put it into that file that you took out of the ICOM 7300. Remember, you would have needed to at least save to this SD card at least once on your 7300 to have all the files that you need. Put it in there and then move on to the, uh, the next part. So we, we've already got an SD card in. Let's just go to menu settings set scroll down to sd card uh let's uh have a quick look here let's unmount it click yes it means we can take out the sd card safely now i just i'm just doing that just to show you how to do it so there's the type of sd card so before you put it in the computer you should uh if you put it into the radio for the first time ever, you need to save settings to it and otherwise it won't have the files on there you need to transfer things to. Anyway, so we can safely put it in because we've unmounted it. And then we're going to go up and we're going to save settings. New file, yeah, because we haven't got anything else in there. And we're going to hit enter. Yes. And it says completed. Okay, now let's go back to the computer and put the new firmware file where it belongs safely um, unmount the card first like we did just now unmount yes and we can take it out safely we don't have to turn the radio off so let's do that there you go we've got that off to the computer so at the unmount screen so we'll just plonk it in like so and we'll go back and this time we'll go to firmware so SD card Firmware update, and yeah, you get the message. Okay. Scroll to the bottom, click yes. Depending on the version of all settings and memories will be lost, click yes. Complete it, then it shows the firmware. Select it. Do you want this the firmware to start? Update, click yes. Oh, you have to hold your finger on the yes. And then it's doing it. Updating main CPU firmware. Please wait for 12 for seconds. And never turn it off and make sure you've got a good power supply to your radio. And look, 1.41 just showed up then. So that's it. Firmware completed. I don't think we're going to notice anything different. But anyway, it's all done. So 7.3, all the best. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.